everyone. Oh, I am so excited. I am so hyped up. The No Man's Sky update, more than likely, not a guarantee, more than likely will be out tomorrow, you guys. So I am so freaking pumped up. I am so hyped. Good to see everybody in here. Dean, Beacon, Backcon, uh, Gaith. The Bajoy. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce your name. Captain Steve's in the house. James MC. Got Scar Tech. You guys, I'm so hyped. I am so excited. Oh, man. Captain Steve. So, Captain Steve. I know Captain Steve has put it out there that he thinks it is a, uh, a fundamental, like a formula update for procedural generation. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I think they're going to go a little bit lighter on it. And they're going to say, hey, look. Everyone's a unique snowflake. Everyone can customize their character more. <laughs> so I think they're going to go that route. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they, they are going to redo the, uh, the formula. But I don't know. That feels like a lot of work. That's something you would do for your next game. Whatever that, that game happens to be, Steve. <laughs> ship customization? Yes. Now... A lot of people said that it might not be ship customization. It might just be character and like multi-tool stuff. I'm okay with that. I think it's going to be customization in general. Like your character, they're going to give you more. They're going to give us more helmets, more gloves, more armor, more boots, that kind of stuff. And also let us do our multi-tools. Let us do, you know, and it might not be full on customization. Like, oh, you could change the, the triggers. You could change the form factor. Maybe. It's just, hey, look, you can customize the colors. Like, you can customize what colors they are. If they do, it'll be undiscovered planets. That's true. That's true. Like, maybe... Oh, man, maybe. David and Captain Steve, thank you for being a member for 27 months. Over two years. That's crazy. And James, member for 23 months. Oh, almost two years. They're one month shy of two years. Thank you so much. Answer to the station override shirt. Oh, man. I hope one day they will tell us what this station override does. I don't think so. I think they had a plan for it. Like they they knew what they wanted to do with it. They put it in there and then it just didn't work out. Or by the time they got it to work the way they wanted it to, it was already like a year later and they're like, okay, we need to just move on. It can't take a year for us to get this stuff sorted out. Oh man. And also, Walter Judd, member for nine months. Thank you very, very much for being a member for nine months. Thank you very much. And Shock It Awe, member for six months. Very much appreciated. He says, uh, Snowflake equals frozen. No more updates ever. Oh, we're going to freeze No Man's Sky exactly where it is. <laughs> oh, no. I hope not. I hope not. Oh, uh, and then Scar Tech, member for eight months with the Snowflake emoji. I love it. Eva. Thank you so much for your super chat. I think the ship customization will be in No Man's Sky 2. It could be, Eva. It could be. Maybe they're planning on... Maybe this is going to be the update that's going to reveal that they're making another No Man's Sky. I don't know. I have no idea. SMOSG, thank you for becoming a member. You're now a fellow traveler. Uh, Wendy, member for 12 months with the, uh, the Supreme, the S-Class upgrade uh, emoji. Thank you very, very much. Guys... We need to get into this game. I'm going to be thinking everybody all day. All right. So we're doing this. Guys, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Should we start a brand new game or should we just continue on and just do uh, multiplayer in a uh, in a normal game? Should we do a brand new one? Two hours, two and a half hours to complete the impossible challenge. I want you guys to note that time. Two and a half hours. Uh, but should we just... You know what? We should just start a brand new game. I'm going to start a brand new game on normal mode. Anybody, if you guys want to join me, come on ahead. Come in here. I'm going to start brand new fresh. We're not going to do any challenges or anything. We're just going to explore. We're going to look for a really good planet to, to land on to get stuff going. Bob Strip Club number two. Legendaries. We should do that. Oh, Bob Strip Club number two. I love it. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I just let it go. But you know, brother, <laughs> let it go. <laughs> I, I might need to... Uh, I don't know. That might be copyright. I don't know. YouTube might get me for copyright on that one. But I might need to do something similar to that for tomorrow. The you let it go. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, Seraphine, member for seven months. Seven months. Thank you so very much, Seraphine. Uh, what about you can't sell but only get uh, money from the space station missions? Maybe. 
I don't know if they would do that, though. Why would they take away something? I don't know if they're going to take it away. Unless it's like a major overhaul, like 4.0. <laughs> but they didn't technically take away anything. They just reinforced the rules, I think. Richard, thank you for being a member for eight months. Much appreciated with the uh, snowflake emojis. And M Walker, becoming a member. I think you just re-upped. Thank you very much for re-upping. Uh, what, what would you call that? Resubbing? Rememberizing? <laughs> thank you very, very much. Uh, no, I mean as a uh, as play that now. Oh, oh, just do a. Uh, I could do that. That would be pretty cool. Start a brand new save and only be able to sell at the space station. That might be that might be doable. I hope you're right with uh, player customization. This comes from uh, Captain Steve. It's been one of the most asked for in my comments, dude. I hope so. I mean, and it feels like they're moving towards that. Because they're adding in a whole bunch of capes. We've gotten a whole bunch of, like, jetpacks and things like that. But there hasn't been an update to focus on it. There's just been kind of, hey, this update added one more cape or two more capes or whatever. If they just went through and said, look, this is the customization update. That would be really cool. You just a whole bunch of capes, a whole bunch of uh, jetpacks, a whole bunch of, like, different armors, like gloves and stuff and helmets. That would be really cool. I would love that. Snowverhaul. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, you called tomorrow and you were right. I was just, was just a guess. And it was a very, very lucky guess because the PSVR comes out tomorrow. That's the only reason I was really adamant. Like, okay, it's probably going to be tomorrow simply because the PSVR is coming out tomorrow. So, <laughs> of course, they would have to line it up with that. And it's easy. I mean, I'm sure they probably had this update out for, you know, done, finished, quote unquote, for a while. Like a couple weeks because in general we get an update pretty early in february like you know first second week maybe even like february 15th and so the fact that they just said ah we can push it back a week or two that's not bad that's not bad so it's probably good timing on that i like people bumps take on the uh, update possible new engine update maybe engine overall is really difficult to do really difficult to do like, I don't, I, I can't even think of a game that changed after it came out. Like, uh, for instance, they have Halo. They're changing Halo from their custom engine to Unreal 5. Okay, but they haven't made the game yet. They're still developing the game. Once you publish a game, it is hard to switch uh, engines. It's not saying it's impossible, but it is difficult to switch engines like that. So, I mean, and if you're going to do that much work, why not just make No Man's Sky 2? Why not make a sequel and do, hey, No Man's Sky is done. We made a sequel. No Man's Sky 2 is out, and it's using Unreal 5 or whatever, the Snowdrop engine, whatever it happens to be. I don't think they're going to change up engines at this point. Uh, nah, Hello Games is going to freeze the servers because they got new ones. That's very probable. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe they end it. Maybe this is the Atlas end of times right now. Everything's frozen. All right, so we are playing on normal, so I don't have to worry too much about it. But we need to find a cave. And again, guys, my, my multiplayer should be open. Network. Why is multiplayer disabled by default? But they have PvP on by default, guys. They need to really fix that. That's a that's an easy fix. Just make the default settings no PvP. Because how many people get trapped like that? And then make sure multiplayer is enabled. Okay, so anybody can join me, guys. If you want to join me. Come on over here. My friend code is in the chat, but if you don't want to wait for the chat or do the chat, there it is right there. That's my friend code right there. So pop that in. Join me if you can. I know that there are... Wait a minute. Is Bob playing? Bob is... I can't join him. I should have joined his game. Is Bob online streaming or is he recording something? He might be recording something, so we don't want to bump. We don't want to bump into um, Bob, <laughs> just in case he's recording something. All right, let's grab this. We're gonna make making some money. Boom, boom, boom! Come on, give it to me. Give me those pearls. Give me those pearls. But yeah, and again, guys, multiplayer is finicky in this game. Maybe that's the update. Maybe they're going to say, look, we're going to do a multiplayer update, you know, to just fix so many problems that happen with multiplayer. You know, there's a lot of bugs. When you have multiplayer turned on, it, all the veteran moment, No Man's Sky players know 
no uh, multiplayer is turned on you're gonna have a lot of issues there's gonna be bugs that pop up that you normally wouldn't see all right oh no i thought you were a rock sorry excuse me sorry uh hello tishi thank you for hanging out you guys uh hey jason and peeps uh, survival bob's code yes seasons on planets that would be really cool so instead of having a, a planet that's always you know uh a uh, hot planet or whatever maybe you could have a planet that goes from hot to cold but i mean how would you break down the seasons like would it be a random event or would it be every few days so you have to stay on a planet for so long before you see a season like that's always the timing is always the weird part like you don't want it to be too long you don't want someone to have to stay on a planet for like you know 10 hours before they see the seasons change because that's that's way too long people aren't going to see it or you don't want it to be too often because like if it's every other day it's a different season that would be too weird it'd be like okay what the heck is going on it was like it was like uh it was hot like two days ago now it's frozen because it's winter quote unquote i don't know so that balance would be kind of a, a hard one to hit i haven't tried multiplayer on steam deck that's sins arcade I can confirm that it's a bad crossplay with consoles. MP is uh, double edged. Yeah, it is. It is. And so maybe that's what they do. I love that they've added multiplayer and that it's crossplay, except for Nintendo Switch. But the fact that it doesn't work as. It's not as solid as I would like it. Like, it works. But it, it feels like it. I mean, maybe it's, it's different for everybody. But it feels like half the time, 50% of the time, either you can't connect or someone disconnects or. There's some weird bug that prevents you, or you can't see somebody, or you call them in and then they're just glitching all over the place. So half the time, it's just like not worth it. But when it works, it is a blast. And that's why I want them to fix it. I want them to go through and, and actually do something to the multiplayer. Man, playing on normal mode after doing an extreme uh, difficulty run, this feels like nothing. I feel like I'm on easy mode. Holy cow. I'd be dead by now, like twice, if I was playing on extreme. Wow. I already have your uh, friend code. How do I join the game? Oh, Corvax Cal. All you have to do. Let me do this real quick. I can show you guys. So we're going to go back to mode, mode select. Once you uh, have my, my friend code, once you've added me as a friend, go to your multiplayer settings right here. And then it'll bring up everybody you're a friend with and you can join their game and it'll tell you hey look he's playing on normal 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 most people play on normal but like if i'm playing on permadeath you have to be on permadeath you have to be on the same difficulty as the person you're joining so you have to have that save ready to go but like everybody here is playing on normal and i could just select them and then once i do that it'll just say hey look bob is playing on normal or multiplayer is not going to work like that Let's go to cue ball. There it goes. Joining. There we go. Connecting. And it'll ask you, what save do you want to play with when you go to cue ball's game? The thing is, you have to make sure that multiplayer is working. Multiplayer might not be working, you guys. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. It's so terrible. Only four maximum players. Oh, vibrato. Uh, vibrato. It's four in a group. You can get 32 people in the same area. But you only have four people in a group. Oh my god. That is not... Uh, multiplayer might be down, you guys. <laughs> Let's do this one. Connecting to Daniel. I can't join anybody! <laughs> I can't join anybody! Uh, by the way, Jason, I beat Iron Man. Sean. Nice, Chris! Nice. Iron Man is really hard to do. Uh, dude, were you playing it on uh, permadeath difficulty? Please tell me you were playing on permadeath. Because that's even better. Uh, do you think there are going to be uh, biomes or new planets? Maybe. I don't know. A snowflake is very generalized. So let's go back into our, our save. That way you guys can join me. My multiplayer. I can't connect to anybody else, I guess. Uh, but yeah, again, multiplayer is very finicky in uh, No Man's Sky, you guys. Especially right around an update. Because that's when they're changing things. That's when everyone gets excited. They get pumped up. And so everyone starts playing No Man's Sky. You overload the uh, servers, I'm sure. So... Especially right around an update, it's going to be buggy. But, uh, I don't know. Snowflake is very general for an update. I, In my opinion, it's a customization for character. Like, you're going to get more armors. You're going to get all that kind of stuff. But, it could be that they do biomes or planets. Maybe we have a different planet type. 
could be. I don't know. I don't think so. But, I mean, again, they did do it before. They've added planetary types. They added anomaly planets like three or four years ago. And then they also, they added more planeta uh, planetary bodies, like more planets in systems, I think two years ago or a year and a half ago. So we got extra planets in systems. That was really cool. And, you know, they've changed the animals, like some of them. I know somebody posted on, uh, on Twitter that they found extinct animals. That was their animals that used to be part of the game. And due to an update, it kind of just, uh, oh, no, don't tell me that. Let me see this. That by YouTube, you're gonna like, you're gonna kill me. Let's see. Nope, we're good. YouTube, don't be an a-hole. Don't be the a-hole, YouTube. Don't be the a-hole. Uh, I want a mech. Oh, Daniel, mechs are pretty cool. I gotta say, and you can get one. You can, if you do the uh, the base building missions, they will give you one eventually. You'll get a Exocraft Specialist. Or if you go to the Space Anomaly, you can just buy one if you really want to. If you want to, and that's what I love about it. They give you the option. They're like, hey, look, if you want to go through the storyline and, and earn it, you know, you don't have to pay anything, but it's going to cost time. Or you could just go in there and buy it if you want to. You don't want to waste time doing it. You can just buy it and you're done. Uh, so the update is tomorrow. Chevalier, hoping. We're thinking it's tomorrow. You calling me what, old explorer? <laughs> No! Beeble Bum is great. Also, guys, follow Beeble Bum, Zane's World, Captain Steve, Q Ball, Survival Bob. The list is very massive on No Man's Sky creators that are really awesome. So, there are a ton of people playing, and they're probably going to be playing No Man's Sky tomorrow. You know it. You know it. Oh, yeah, I should probably make my visor and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I should probably do that. Um, We have a. Uh, we can fix our scanner. Um, now we need to go get some sodium. Oh, we can probably do it right now. Um, why support? There we go. Done. All right. We don't need that much. They, they tell you you need 10 or whatever. You don't need it. You're good. There it is over here. Man, I was walking the opposite way because I'm a fool. I don't think so, Professor Cynical. I think the world of glass and the void will be a pipe dream forever. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Could be. Maybe the update will be the elemental update as the snowflake could represent one of the cold elements. It could be. Maybe they're going to redo a hazard protections and uh, uh, hazard uh, technology. Maybe it's a technology update. They're going to redo all that stuff and it has to do with uh, your uh, environments now. Could be. I mean, I, I try to, in my mind anyway, I try to keep it more realistic. Like, they're not going to overhaul the entire story. They could, but it doesn't seem likely. You know, I mean, I want it. I feel like they need to add more story content to the game. But I don't think they are. I think realistically it's going to be a content, like a feature update versus a, uh, a big storyline, con you know, thing. So it'll be... Hey, we're going to add new Sentinels to the game, you know, or something like that. Hey, we're going to add pirates to the game. And part of that is their story, but it's very bite-sized. You know, the uh, I think for the last three years, we haven't gotten a major story update. Now, don't get me wrong. We've gotten story. They added the, uh, the living ships. That was a whole storyline on its own. They added the pirates. That was a whole storyline on its own. So... They've done little snippets, but nothing like the nothing like the Artemis storyline. It's just, that's like 15 hours long. I'm not gonna do something like that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Prove me wrong, Sean Murray. Prove me wrong. I would love to be proven wrong, <laughs> but I don't think it's very likely. We should probably get some uh, carbon. That way, I can make my uh, visor. Uh, Ricey is a good birthday. Oh, dude, Ricey, dude, it is your birthday. Happy birthday to you, number one. But number two, the best birthday present is an update in No Man's Sky. Well, second best, maybe. <laughs> it's going to be a good... And dude, this is going to be a great week, I think. It's going to be a great week. I'm hoping. Uh, let's make our visor. Yeah, doom, doom, doom. And I can see what I'm doing. I can see all the berry technology I cannot pick up yet. Tomorrow! I hope so. I hope so. Happy birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow. <laughs> it 
And also, happy update tomorrow. Uh, Noodle says, Bork! Oh, hello, Dr. Pong! Very, very awesome seeing you in chat. Oh, wait a minute. Am I dying? What am I doing here? What's, how am I getting damaged? What, what's damaging me? Oh, were you damaging me? I don't think so. Maybe. All right. Let's get in here. Let's get our beacon. Jason, have you got multiplayer enabled? I do, James. I do. I, I don't know if you saw it earlier, <laughs> but I do. Uh, it's just one of those things where multiplayer is wor not working today, as far as I know. Yeah, see? Enabled. And join my group? Anybody. So it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing that multiplayer just sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I was trying to jo join Survival Bob earlier. Couldn't do it. Tried to join Q-Ball. Couldn't do it. <laughs> so, and as far as I know, everything is online. Yeah, see? My uh, discovery services are online, so I'm connected. It's just acting weird. And Kate, thank you for being a member for 12 months. HBD Ricey Pong. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Just not showing up. Yeah, I know, James. It's a weird thing. Like, Survival Bob is showing up for me, but I cannot join his game for whatever reason. I cannot torment him. I was going to go in there and mess with him, but I guess not. So, yeah, it's just a weird... Again, I hope that they take the time. One of these updates is focused on just either a, do a pass on multiplayer and if they need to make it smaller like right now it's 32 maybe they have to cut that down to 24 or something like that and just make it to where it's more reliable because multiplayer is always just finicky it's just really off or uh, you know, uh, off once in a while uh 12 30 p.m uh update drops on steam yes so if you're in the United States, that is early in the morning. East Coast, I think that is uh, 7 or 8 in the morning. For me, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> so I will officially be waking up early tomorrow for the update. And if it's not out, I will be very upset with uh, with Sean Murray. <laughs> oh. Judas Goat Barbecue with the 10 gifted subs, dude. Much appreciated, Judas. Very much appreciated, man. Very cool. 07 for Judas in the chat. All right, so now we have to fix some stuff. Look at this. Look at that. You got just a uh, a silver ball. A silver ball there. All right. Let's grab this machinery. Let's see if they have any upgrades in here. Uh, UTC time is UK time. I think it's uh, universal time. Uh, so I believe it's Greenwich. No, no, no. That would be GMT would be Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. It was not out tomorrow morning. Then go back to bed. Oh, Eva, I know. But it's hard, to, it's hard for me to go back to sleep if I've been amped up and ready to go, you know, to get the update. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I don't know how to go back to sleep. All right. Let's see. We have our... We have one of each. Oh, yeah. We need some... Uh, we need to make some metal plating and some pure ferrite. So let's get that going. You guys, The other question is, do you guys think we're going to get a, an expedition? Or do you think it's just going to be the update? Hit me in the chat. Do you think it's going to be an expedition as well? Or just an update, no expedition? Because I, I personally think there will be an expedition, but we won't see it tomorrow. Like, we've had a few of them where we had the expedition come out a week after the update. So the update comes out on Wednesday, and then the following Monday, that's when the expedition starts. So I think that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna they're gonna draw it out a little bit. They're gonna give us an expedition next week. So we'll get the update tomorrow, and then next week we'll get the expedition. That's what I think. But what do you guys think? Do you think that's right, or do you think they're gonna give us both at the same time? There we go. Let's refill this a little bit. Put some of this in here. Uh, Dan Cranmer says, uh, Jason, you pick up the uh, buried tech, Jason. Uh, just go in the first person and look down. I know that's still there. That's why I think they're going to do a, they have to do a bug pit, pit fix on that. Yes. I, I know you can pick it up like that. <laughs> uh, it's an evil way to do it, but Hey, yeah, you can totally do it. And it depends on how far it is away. So if it's near the surface, you can, let me show you what he's talking about. If it's close to the surface, you can like that. But if it's really deep down, you still can't do it. So I could do that. But if you get one that's really deep, you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to grab it. It has to be close. 
And I don't even think you need to be in first person. Let's see. We can find another one here. Let me show you this one. I don't think you have to be in first person. I think you can. It makes it easier. Easier. But if you're in third person... <gasps> look at this Diplo. Look at that. Hey, buddy. But if you're... If you angle it right, you can do it in third person. So let's do this. Let me show you this one. Uh, I saw an internal branch update. I think it's updating tomorrow. Oh, I did. I saw that too. We might see a couple more of those too, because usually it's not just one. Sometimes it is, but usually there's more than one. Let's see. Can I grab it? No, maybe they did fix that. They they fixed it a little bit, but yeah, look at that. Boom, but if I go in the first person? Huh. It used to be. Maybe they did patch it a little bit. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait. Hey, see, it was just left over from my being in first person. Watch this. It's still there. <laughs> so anyway, you can do it like that. I don't like to do that. I mean, you can. If you're desperate and you really need it, sure. It's not going to hurt anyone except for you. And, you know, you're the only one who can judge that that's good or bad or whatever. I haven't gotten to work in a third person. I, I've gotten to work a couple times. But, yeah, it is definitely harder. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, um, I need a hermetic seal, so I need to fix my... Uh, my ship. Let's make a uh, metal plating. There we go. I think we got everything. Yep. Pure ferrite and the uh, the jelly. And then we have a metal plating. But we need a we need a uh, hermetic seal. There we go. If you have a dino pet, would you it make you a dino rider? Yes, a dino rider. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not the only one who watched that show when I was a kid. Uh, hello, Jason. Do you know how the update will be re realized? Uh, I think if you meant Stefano, if you mean released, it'll be released in the morning, depending on your... Uh, it, it's universally or globally released at the same time. So depending on your time zone, it'll be different. In the United States, it'll be early morning. If you're over in Europe, it'll be in the afternoon. You know, depending on where you are, it'll be a different time. Uh, 400 people watching. We could use a few more likes. Beeble Bum, I love you for that. Thank you so much. Guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that really helps out the channel more than you know. YouTube loves it when you hit the like button. They really do. And getting more likes shares it out to more people, so I would appreciate it. I would appreciate that. If I start a new game, would I have to start again with a new update? No, oh, no, 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 Mr. Zombie. You can use your old save, as far as I know. It's always traditionally been they're just going to add some content, so... I could go back to one of my old saves and get the new stuff if I wanted to. So you don't have to start a new save, as far as I know. This might be the first one that does it, but I doubt it. In general, they just add new stuff to everybody's save. Look at that. Like, visually, look at that. I love that they added that. That was really cool. I wish they would add more bug fixes to the game. Uh, and everyone likes Jason Plays! Well, thank you! I appreciate that, Ram. When do you think the trailer will drop? Old Explorer trailer usually drops 7 a.m. my time. So that's a, uh, that it would be 9 a.m. Eastern if you're in the United States. So 9 a.m. Eastern time, you'll see the trailer drop and all the patch notes drop in general. It might go early, might go late. Uh, Sean Murray, he loves uh, on Twitter. You'll see him at 6 a.m. my time. So that would be 8 a.m. Eastern time. The, he likes to start tweeting about how it's been an amazing journey together. The community is so great. We've had amazing updates for the past, blah, blah, blah. He'll do that. He'll start tweeting that stuff out an hour before the uh, trailer hits. <laughs> so that's in general. When you start seeing that, you're like, okay, the trailer's coming pretty soon. The trailer's coming within the next hour. Uh, but yeah, he'll do that. Trailer most of the time drops after the release. Yeah, you'll see. You'll get an update on Steam anyway. About an hour before the patch notes come out. So, in general, between 5 and 6 a.m. Not always the case, but generally. 5, 6 a.m. my time. So, that would be, uh, what is it? 7 to 8 a.m. Eastern. If you're in the United States, again, Eastern time. And then, an hour later, two hours later, they will drop the patch notes in the trailer. <laughs> and they'll say, oh, yeah, this is all the stuff that's in there. 
The internal branch updated? Yeah! I can't wait. And we'll probably see a couple more of those before the day is over. You know, so they want to make sure everything's running good and smooth. They're going to update one. And then they'll patch it up. They'll update it again. What other games do you like? Uh, Lander Verbeek. I would say my top games. Dead Space is up there. Really high up there. Metal Gear Solid. Very high up there. Um, Oblivion. Like Elder Scrolls in general. But Oblivion is my favorite out of the Elder Scrolls games. Um, I like RPG kind of stuff. I do. I love all that kind of stuff. Witcher is up there. I love the Witcher games. Um, I have been playing Hogwarts Legacy. That's a good one. Uh, at Atomic Heart just came out last night. I haven't even jumped into Atomic Heart yet. I, I was streaming Hogwarts the last yesterday. That was the... We finally finished it, so I'm done with Hogwarts. I finished it from start to end. I'm probably going to dabble in it a little bit on my own, but we finished it on stream. But now we got to do Atomic Heart. That looks interesting. I've heard that it's uh, okay. Like the game itself is like, eh. So I'm going to be a little upset if it's not as good. <laughs> but hey, you can't have bangers all the time. Like you can't have perfect games releasing constantly. You got to have a few duds. And it might be that uh, Atomic Heart is a dud. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Did you finally beat? I did, Legendaries. We beat it yesterday. We finally finished it off. I think the new update will uh, be called uh, Cryogenics or something with a uh, cryo. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it could be cryogenics. It could be the um. Oh, what is a good? If it was a, cu a customization update, what's a good name for a customization? Because cryogenics, to me, is like more aimed at like uh, uh cold temperatures and things like that. So that would be like a winter update. What would be a good customized uh, name? The No Man's Sky. I don't even know. We had Waypoint, which was an overhaul. Um, we had... <laughs> we had Endurance, which was a freighter update. I was like, what the... Endurance doesn't sound like a freighter update to me, but that's what it was. Um, we had the Outlaw update, which was for pirates. That makes more sense. Outlaw update... For pirates, they're pirate outlaws. Okay, that one makes sense. We had the living ships update, which was for living ships. So the names technically have gotten more weird, more extravagant. Like, you know, we had the next update. That was kind of out there. It's the next version of No Man's Sky. But hey, it's a little bit of a stretch, but at least it made sense. Waypoint? I don't know. Uh, first spawn wakes up from their cryopod. <laughs> Dude, I would do that. If, if they... What if it's an RPG update, you guys? What if they're going to overhaul the game and now we have, like, stats? Like, you have your agility. You have your uh, strength. You have all the stuff. You have skills. Like, you have um, you have a skill based on what weapon you use. So, you have a uh, bolt caster skill. Or you have a blaze javelin skill that you can upgrade. And if you upgrade those skills, you actually are better. You do more damage with those weapons guys. <laughs> I think that's way out there, guys. I think that's way out there. That's not going to happen more than likely, <laughs> but that would be awesome. I would love that. That would be, oh my God, that would be amazing. I don't think that's going to happen though. This is not that kind of game. Oh yeah. We need to make a, uh, we need to make some condensed carbon. Let's pop this down. Do we have enough freaking uh, carbon? No, we don't. All right, I need to get more carbon. That way we can make some condensed carbon so I can make my hermetic seal, you guys. Let's do this. I am all for that, dude, Commander Clyde. I would love that. That would be amazing. That's a bit of a reach. Yeah, I know, Nubis. I know. It's a bit of a reach. It is. That is like the dream. <laughs> that is something that's so far out there. It would be amazing if it happened, but I'm not expecting it to. There's no way. That's a whole. That's a different type of game. <laughs> That's a whole different monster, a whole different thing. No, oh, we don't need to put it in there. We need to put it in here. Where are you at? I just realized we don't need a hermetic seal. We just got one, idiot. Oh my god, we have it. I have it in my inventory. I just did not pay attention to it. Man. Yeah, I'm a fool, you guys. I'm a fool. We have it already. Idiot. All right. Let's move some of this stuff around. This is for my carbon and my uh, my condensed carbon. 
Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Don't, don't make fun of me in the chat. I already know it. I forgot. It's been a while, guys. I've been playing other games. I'm, I'm losing my touch. I'm losing my touch here. I forgot the beginning of No Man's Sky. All right. No Man's Sky plus an RPG sounds a lot like Fantasy Star Online. Oh, dude. There's so many games that I would love. Like, I want to get into, like, uh, Star Citizen. And it's one of the games I'm, I'm looking at getting into. But, man... That takes a whole level of dedication because it's a it's a deep game, Star Citizen. There is a lot of uh, stuff you have to learn. I mean, not deep as in like, not deep as in a lot of stuff in it, but deep as in the mechanics, like learning how to do everything. Flying a ship, walking around, doing all that kind of stuff. There's a lot to it. It's multi-layered. It's just not very... Uh, not very content rich. Not yet. There we go. Can I see the, uh... Oh, I can see the uh, space station. Let's go. We're gonna go to the space station before they let us go to the space station. Let's get in here. You'll pick it up quick. I mean, yeah, if I got into it, because like I, I played Hogwarts Legacy, I played, I'm playing Atomic Heart as soon as this is over, probably tonight, I'm gonna be playing some uh, Atomic Heart. I could pick up and play games. I'm just like, oh, I'm not, I won't be good at it. Not not really good. Uh, Princess Oscar says, Jason, Star Citizen will never be content rich. Maybe, I mean, I think that it will get there eventually. I'm just, it is <laughs> not looking good. <laughs> anytime soon no man's sky cold feet now you can marry your friends in the anomaly Beeble, did you just propose to me is that what that was i think Beeble wants to get married he just proposed to me everyone in the chat you heard it here first Beeble just proposed he wants to get married to me on the space uh, anomaly <laughs> uh well, yeah, we can't do anything on this i have any nanites i have 85 that's not gonna happen I could probably sell some stuff, though. Oh, yeah, I got some uh, buried technology. Of course we can sell it. Let's see if we can get some stuff going on here. Uh, my Gek got the hot for you, Jason. Oh, dude, your Gek loves the Groot-looking, the Helios-looking uh, people in the world. I love it. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, you make a lovely bride. Oh, with my, with my traditional uh, garb, yes. Who wouldn't want to marry Groot? Come on. Oh. Uh, could add traits to specific multi-tools as well. Dude, that would be really cool. I would take that. I mean, and it doesn't have to be, like, all this stuff, it doesn't have to be really in-depth. Like, when I say ship customization, it doesn't have to be, oh, you can you have to be able to change the, uh, the wings and the engine and the cockpit. It doesn't have to be all of that. What ship customization could be is, hey, look, you can customize the interior of your ship. So you can customize all the screens. That could be ship customization as well. You can customize the color of the interior. You can customize your sheet, your seat cushions, all that kind of stuff. You can customize, customize the, uh, the glass. Like you can make it tempered or you can make it pearlescent or whatever. You can customize the interior of it. Maybe that's customization. Maybe it's just, you could choose the colors of it. So you can't change the wings. You can't change anything about it other than the color. It could be that. I would want more. Believe me, I want more than that. But it could only mean that. Hey, hey come on. We're going to pulse drive here. Uh, Sins Arcade with a super chat. Thank you very, very much. And it says, let's be fair. Beeble Bum just wants to see your feet slathered in whiskey in space. No one wants to hear you shriek. <laughs> Oh my god, you do not want to see my feet. Maybe in whiskey, but you have to drink the whiskey first. That way, you are completely blitzed out of your mind, and then my feet won't look so bad. <laughs> oh. Full ship interiors that we can uh, walk around in? I can dream. Oh, dude. See, and there's there's all kinds of different levels of it. So yeah, what if there was a ship interior? What if we could do co-op? So instead of just having single player ships, what if you can have a uh, cock or co-pilot? That would be really cool. Get a co-pilot on your ship. So, and that would only that would only take adjusting it. So now, instead of having just one little uh, piece of glass, there's two bumps. That's it. That's all you gotta do. 
then there you go. You have a co-pilot. Two people can fly in one ship. That would be cool. Jason, the update does drop tomorrow. No Man's Sky is on sale. I know. A scar. Everything is there that says it should be out tomorrow. Now, when we say that the update is coming out tomorrow, what we mean is Xbox, PlayStation, and PC will get it tomorrow. More than likely, if you're a No Man's Sky Switch player, you probably won't see the update till Friday. Just because of how Nintendo pushes out updates, it doesn't seem like you're going to get it tomorrow. Maybe you will. But I have a feeling now it's going to be on Friday for Switch. And then the other question is, is it going to even come to Switch? Like, are they going to cut pieces out of it? Like, oh, most of it's there, except for, you know, this part and this part. They can't put it on the Switch. We don't know. We have no idea. So I have no... We, we've just got the Switch version in October. There hasn't been very many updates. I think we've only had technically one. And that came with the Switch. So we haven't seen an update on the Switch. We've seen patches, and we know that they're a little bit uh, slower. And so when the patch is slower, it makes me think that the update will be as well. So that's why we assume the Switch is probably going to be a little bit behind all the other uh, consoles, all the other platforms. Uh, just play Star Citizen for that. Yes. Uh, Engineer Wilkie says, Jason, what if the snowflake isn't a snowflake, but a star? And the up update ends up being called the Lone Star update. Adding a new Winnebago ship. Dude. <laughs> yes. And now we get the Schwartz. We have powers. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. We start getting uh, force powers in uh, No Man's Sky. It could be. Or uh, maybe it's a star. <laughs> it's the Lone Star update. Oh, I love that. That would be amazing. That would be funny. I'd have to give... I'd have to give props to uh, to Sean Murray if that happened. That would be too good. Carbon nanotubes. We don't have enough carbon. We gotta get. We gotta sit down and get some carbon. Dang it. Uh, the traveler update. It could be the traveler update. What if it's the anomaly update? And it's just a whole bunch of stuff focused on the anomaly. Like there's different appearance modifiers now. Now instead of just one for your character, now you get an appearance modifier for your ship and for your multi-tool so there's three different kiosks and they're all on the space anomaly so uh, yeah it could be the anomaly update happy tuesday carmen glad you could join us you're hanging out with us today very pumped up very excited uh, lots of interesting comments and pictures on the sean murray's tweets dude yeah i know and i don't know i would love to just hang out with sean murray for a week just to pick his brain about how he goes about it because we all know that sean murray when he's working he's not tweeting so if they're heavy duty trying to get an update fixed or working or whatever you don't hear from sean murray and then all of a sudden he'll start getting really active on twitter he starts posting and sharing screenshots and things and you're like okay okay so now we know an update's coming because he's not as busy but what what goes into choosing like if does he actually pick posts that are going to show off the update or is he just going through? He's like, I have extra time. I don't, I don't need to worry about it. And he, he just shares whatever. He's not really focused on sharing anything related to the updates at all. He's just sharing things that are cool looking. I just, I added that, right? There we go. Uh, I would love to see an expansion to the anomaly for sure. Cooking areas, refiner rooms. That would be cool. That would be cool. I don't know though. Uh, it, maybe it isn't you know what guys I take it back maybe it is an overhaul for the anomaly because a lot of us talked about how the anomaly feels weird when you're on the Nintendo Switch because it's a gigantic open space with a whole bunch of landing pads but there's no multiplayer at all on the Nintendo Switch right what if they they overhaul the look of the anomaly and they're like look now we have different areas there is a landing area and on console like on xbox playstation and pc it has a whole bunch of landing pads but on nintendo the landing area only has one and then you walk off into a room or walk down a hallway and it go opens up to the other areas of the uh, space anomaly and you have a cooking area like people said or there is a, a refiner area or, or things like that that would be really cool 
The only thing I would worry about is that would cut down on on the freighters because why would you make a custom freighter if you can call in the anomaly anywhere, anytime, and you have all that stuff already anyway? Yes, you can customize it on your freighter, but most people don't care about looking, you know, they don't care about the looks. They just, they have a freighter that they can call in and it has a refiner area or it has a teleporter. And so you just call in the anomaly and it replaces that. We need to find some copper. Is that copper? That's sodium. That's phosphorus. That is... That would be really cool, though. I would love... I would love the overhaul for the anomaly. Random anomaly locations again? Oh, don't tell me that. I don't want that. I don't want to go back to that scar. I literally had a... I made a guide to figure out where the anomaly was going to be. Because way back... If you're a new player to No Man's Sky... Three years ago, four years ago, way back in the day, the anomaly was a random occurrence. And I say random, you could get it to populate, but you could not call it in. Like there was no calling the space anomaly in. You had to guess where it was going to be. And you can trigger it by, if you jumped so much, I think it was three jumps, and you had to be a certain distance away, the space anomaly would just randomly appear. And so you can get it to, to, uh, to teleport in by force, but you had to work around it. There was no calling it in. <laughs> I would not want that to happen again, Scar. That was terrible. Because so many times you wanted to go and, and you wanted to basically force the anomaly. Because the other thing was, the space anomaly had an additional uh, multi-tool slot. Or a multi-tool available so you can buy it. And so you could get a really go good multi-tool on the space anomaly. But you had to do a million different things to kind of make it work. It was bad. It was bad. Back in my day, we had to walk uphill both ways to get in the snow to get the anomaly. <laughs> oh. So I prefer I prefer being able to call it in whenever you want. I like that. <laughs> that is a good. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. I don't want them taking that away. Oh my god, that would be the worst. Not for combo refining. Oh, uh, what are we going, Dan? What are we? Uh, Dan, well, that's the backpack refiner for... Uh, that's what the backpack refiner is for, Beebs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. Maybe they're going to they're gonna give us another uh, item that's better than the backpack refiner. But, man, backpack refiner is the best upgrade you could possibly get in this game. It is the most useful upgrade ever. Oh, yeah. We need to, we need to refine that into some chromatic metal. Um, where are you at? There you are. Uh, Miyogi! Member for seven months, Miyogi! Thank you very much for being a member for seven months. That's awesome. Is he, he says, hi, all. And Jason, brilliant stream. Hope to the update soon, dude. We're thinking it's going to be tomorrow. I mean, there's no guarantees. We don't know. But all signs are pointing to it being tomorrow. So that's why we're hyped. We're ready to go. Uh, they patched out all the glitch building. Oh, no! Spawns! That would be the worst. I mean, they would find different ways to do it, but you know, I think that for the most part, Hello Games is like, look, people love glitch building and they do glitch build. Oh, seven for Miyogi, by the way. So we're not going to take it out. Just like for as much as people hate uh, duplication glitches, they they kind of went after it and then they finally just gave up and said, you know, if you want to do it, go ahead. It's not, they're not going to punish you. You're not going to get your save deleted. Anything like that. They just got tired of trying to chase down people and stop them from uh duplicating stuff so it's in there and i don't think it's not something they want you to do but also they're not going to go out of their way they're not going to spend the time to try to stop you either uh i'm okay with that i can go play another game no bit beeble bomb no man's sky for life <laughs> no man's sky for life no Man's Sky until No Man's Sky 2 comes out. No Man's Sky forever. <laughs> uh, eh, you know what? I don't want to build on a hot planet. Let's see what other planets we have around here. Maybe we can find something really cool. All right. We have a radioactive planet. That would be good for our... Uh, wait a minute. What is that? That looks like a pink planet to me. Unknown moon. Paradise moon, guys. 
We found our home planet already in the first, uh, in the first area, in the first system we popped into. I love it. We have a paradise moon in the first system we did. I love it. Seriously. Uh, nice. I know it's going to be a pink one too. I haven't done a, I haven't had a pink uh, planet in a long time. Glitches find a way. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be definitely pink. Look at that. Look at this. Uh, tickle that like button. Oh, man, YouTube, what are you doing? Yes, guys, if you want to help out the channel, please hit that like button. It really helps out a ton when you do that. Let's land here. Oh, it's a pink bubble, guys. I love it. All right, so you do know that I'm going to... If you guys want to come here... And multiplayer is being kind of an a-hole right now. So, instead of doing the multiplayer version, we're going to give you glyphs. So, bottom left-hand side of the screen. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me get it darker. That way you guys can see it better. Oh, look at the glowing. Oh, my God. All right. Bottom left-hand side of the screen. It makes it so you can see it a little bit better. Come over here. It's a pink planet. We're in Euclid because we just started a brand new save. So, this is the beginning system. Uh, yo, Jason, what about VR Doom Slayer? I think what they're going to do is, realistically, they're just going to make sure that the game runs better. So I think part of the update, not the whole update, but I think part of the update tomorrow is going to be a performance boost. Because VR is amazing, but if the frame rate is dropping and doing a whole bunch of problems, you know, you have a whole bunch of issues with the frame rate, it looks terrible, it plays terrible. So you need a high refresh rate, a high frame rate, for VR to really look good and play good. And so I think they're going to do a performance. They're going to be performance patches. They're going to say, hey, look, we revised some of the engine to make it, you know, run better and run easier. But I also think that there's going to be content there. That way people want to play it in VR. So that's why that's another reason why I think there's going to be a customization uh, part of this update. Because if you're in VR, you're looking at your you're looking at your hands all the time. Why not give us new gloves you can use, right? Right? Why not you you can look down at your body? Why not give us a new body we can see? Why not let us customize the interiors of our ships and our multi-tool? When you're in VR, you're looking at your multi-tool all the time, right? Why not let us customize that? That's why I think there's a customization aspect to it. What if it's a cold star update? Uh, cold galaxies, dead stars? Maybe. That would be interesting. Like a dead star update. Like, you can go to a uh, system and it's just completely dead. That would be really interesting. We need to make a we need to make a thing here. And wait a minute! Tyler Wooldridge! Thank you for being a member for 13 months! Hey, Jason, fractals all the way. Could be! I don't know. I, that seems like it's going to be too hard and too, too deep of an update. And then Mandrake! 3141 Super Chat. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated for pie. That's an extra big pie. I appreciate you, Mandrake, for the extra large pie. Uh, and he says, pie time. Any news yet? Still speculation? What's the popular opinion? Mandrake, we have everybody's guessing different things, but there's no official word yet. We have an internal branch update, so that means it's coming. We have everything on sale. Sean did his emoji, so we know it's coming soon. Everyone's guess is tomorrow. More than likely, it will be tomorrow. So Wednesday, depending on your time zone, it'll be either early morning, like if you're in the United States, it will be early morning. Or if you're in Europe, it'll be in the afternoon sometime. Dep again, depending on your time zone, depending on where you are on the world. If you're in New Zealand or Australia, it's probably going to be uh, Thursday. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is a really good planet. This is a starting system planet. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I don't have any... Can I make any pellets? I don't think I can make them yet. Damn it! Wait a minute. Live forever. Whoa! How did that pop in there? Who did that? Wait a minute. That was Mandrake. Okay. Mandrake Sounder. Oh, look at that fancy. You're going to live forever, Mandrake. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I want... I need to get some pellets. Look at this! Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have the anomaly. Can I, I don't think I can even actually get these guys, right? Yeah, they're anomaly. Oh, wait a minute, I can't offer them food. Are you sure? Oh, I need my creature pellets, you guys. 
I need my creature pellets. We need to get that thing as a pet. I want him as a pet. All right. Let's make our base real quick. We need to go through the basics because I need to get my pellets. All right. By giving them, do I get it? No, dang it. Uh, narrated by Sean Bean. This is no... No! You can't, you can't do that. No. Sean Bean is good. Don't get me wrong. I love Alec. I love 006. But, but... The only narrator I can ever, ever, ever take for No Man's Sky is Rutger Hauer, and he's no longer with us. So he did the original. If you guys didn't know, the original trailers for No Man's Sky had his his narration over it. He's the, If you don't know who he is, he's the guy from Blade Runner. He did a lot of sci-fi stuff. He's a very amazing actor from the 80s. So, yes, Rutger Hauer. I wish, I wish we can get him. You can definitely fly on that guy. Oh, Stan. I know. I want to. That's why I'm going to try to get through here. We're going to make a base real fast. That way we have it done. And it'll give us all our stuff that we need. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. It'll tell me how to make my, my base. And we have to make something real quick. I need to find that trailer. I love retro. Oh, dude. You know what we can do? I have that trailer, you guys. I made sure to download that trailer. So I have it. Let me go to my video. Um, give me one second. I will get that trailer because that is worth it. It is the one of the original. I don't think it's the first one. I think it's the third trailer they ever put out. Had Rutger in it. Um, let me go into my trailers. I got it. One, two, three, four. It was actually number six. Oh, man. All right. This is what we're going to do, you guys. Let me do this. We're going to switch it over to my screen stream. This is going to be... This was the gameplay trailer in 2015 before the game came out. I love this trailer. This is one of my favorites. I've seen things. A few things before. This is what it originally looked like way back in the day. Left the sun and moon behind. Look at that. So good. Galaxies waiting to be found. Planets. Rich in resources. Battles to be fought. Treasures unknown. They give you oxygen readings. The universe you wouldn't believe. Oh yes, that was an amazing trailer. That got me pumped up for the game. Oh, wait a minute. I, I left too early. I left too early. Let me go back. Let me go back. It went right there. How are we doing? Oh, wait. There we go. That was before it got delayed. June 2016. <laughs> it got delayed. Uh, that was the sad part about that whole trailer. All right. Come on. There we go. Boom, boom. There we go. Sorry, guys. I love that trailer. I love that trailer. And I, that's why they... I mean, Sean Bean would be good. I would love Sean Bean to do a voiceover, but you can't beat that one. You can't beat it. I see David Attenborough would be a great narrator. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I mean, depending on your taste. All right, we need to build a base real fast. It's not going to be anything fancy. It's going to be my square. You know what I do, you guys. Incoming. 
Um, boom. Oh, yeah, and by the way, hopefully we, we get a build camera. I The one complaint I have for Valheim is we need a build computer. We need a build camera like this. I really would love a build camera like that. That would be amazing. So to just be able to go around something and not have to worry about it. Like, oh, man. Can I make a door? I can make a door. There we go. Now it's too dark. Uh, back in a bit. Thanks, Jason. Dude, Ricey, thank you for hanging out, man. I know everyone has busy schedules, especially No Man's Sky creators. We are going to be busy this week cutting videos and stuff. So I get it. Uh, just pre-ordered. Pre-ordered what? What are you guys pre-ordering? What are you guys doing? I think the closest voice type would be Liam Neeson. Liam would be really good. Okay, I can, I can get behind that, uh, Beeble Bomb. L Liam Neeson. That would be really good. I mean, you could say, uh, you can get Gerard Butler, because he's a little bit younger. You don't want him, I mean, sadly. I love Rutger, but he, he did pass away. So you don't want to get someone who's going to, you know, pass away and, and uh, Liam Neeson's getting up there. So uh, Gerard Butler is pretty, he's younger. He has that same kind of deep inflection that he can use. Uh, Piers Broston, I could deal with that too. Okay, I could do, oh, wait a minute. It's from Scar. So I could deal with the, with the Australian accent of Piers Broston. <laughs> uh, I'm a traveler with a certain set of skills. <laughs> yes, exactly. I couldn't even, I can't even make my voice as deep as his. He has an amazing voice. I would, Morgan Freeman, that's another one. Morgan Freeman voiceover would be amazing. <laughs> that would be so good. I don't know, I don't know if Morgan Freeman would care though. That's the thing. Like the thing about Rutger is he was a sci-fi guy. Like he did all kinds of sci-fi stuff. If you guys have not played Observer, oh my God, that is one of my favorite. That's another one. If you guys want to know one of my favorite games of all time, Observer is such a good game. Such a good game. What are we doing? Construct a research unit. Oh yeah, we, we got to get a whole bunch of um, magnetized ferrite. Got it. Do we have it anywhere here? We have perfinium, perfinium, cobalt, knowledge stones. We have a base over there, unknown building, cobalt deposit. Um, I don't think we have any. That was a storm, huh? <laughs> I couldn't even feel it. All right. What about Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill would be good. And he does, oh, dude. But every time I hear Mark Hamill's voice, I think of the Joker, though. Excuse me, little guy. And so I don't know if a Joker voice. I mean, he does more than that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he only does Joker. But when I hear Mark Hamill, that's what I that's what I hear. He's he's the Joker as far as I'm concerned. It's either him or Jack Nicholson. And that's those are the laughs I you know, love. All right, we need to get a whole bunch of uh, ferrite dust, you guys. So let's get. Oh my God. All of it is all pure ferrite. I need to upgrade on my multi my laser. All right. Uh, Bill Knight, dude. Yes. I can get behind that. Ryan Reynolds? I don't know about that. I love Ryan Reynolds. Don't get me wrong. Ryan Reynolds is amazing, but I don't know if he fits that. I don't know if he fits that. Michael Ironside. Yes. 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 100%. That's, 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 the, that's not the right one. Dang it. Dang it. Damn, I'm good. Yes. Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Compost? I want Michael Ironsides as Sam Fisher to do the voiceover. That would be amazing. Get, uh, get some Splinter Cell voiceover in this game. <laughs> I would love that. Look at that. I would love that is a Sam Fisher uh, voiceover. Jeremy Irons? Yes. Now you guys are just throwing out really good actors. I don't know. I mean, Rutger, it was like the perfect fit. He was so perfect for it. Peter Cullen, met him last year. Oh, okay, there you go. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> yeah, no. No. Paul Rubens is good. But come on now. Pee Wee Herman. We can't have the Pee Wee Herman voice. Uh, all right. Am I, do I have my multiplayer turned on, right? Why? I could see people. 
I just can't. Okay. I mean, I see people here. <laughs> there you go. Let's make our, um, let's put our refiner in here. Right there. We need to make some magnetized ferrite. So we're going to put that in there. Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> I think he's passed away at this point. Christopher Judge would be good. Oh, yeah. Kratos? Yes, 100%. I would take a Kratos voiceover. Oh, man. I love this planet. Then why don't you marry it? <laughs> I would if I could. <laughs> uh, William Shatner. Dude, yes. William Shatner actually... You know what? All seriousness, William Shatner might not be a bad choice. I would take a, a William Shatner voiceover for No Man's Sky. John Malkovich. Come on. <laughs> uh, let me get that. And then we need to make some magnetized ferrite. It's dark in here. Look at this planet. I wish I could make you my pet. Got a whole bunch of sentinels around here. Oh, we have another base. Yes. That is George Outpost. <laughs> oh. Adam Sandler. No, no, no. I'm drawing the line at Adam Sandler. A good actor. Not a good voiceover person, I don't think. Uh, you know what? To be fair, I have not heard any... Uh, I don't have not heard him do a voiceover for anything. I've heard him act. So, and I love his movies. Especially, like... You know, the old 90s stuff. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, all that stuff. 100%. <laughs> John Cleese. Yes. Yes. He could be uh, up. This is why multiplayer is bad. It's still refining, even though it's not refining anything. There we go. What am I, what am I making here? Nanotubes? Oh, okay. I guess I do have to make nanotubes for that. All right. I did not know that... Nanotubes. How is it a storm if we're on a perfect planet? This is, uh, this was a paradise planet, right? A paradise moon? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my ship? Oh, crap. I don't have any fuel. This is a paradise planet, I thought, right? Am I not, was I wrong on that? Uh, Bill Nye, yes. The science guy, yes. <laughs> Brendan Gleeson, I would take that. If you're gonna go with an Irishman, you could do that. Or you could do, um, oh God, what's the terrible uh, comparison? You could do, um, uh, Mark Wahlberg. He's a, t he's a, a Irishman, right? <laughs> All right. Let's see, can I make any fuel? I need a metal plating. I can make that, right? Oh, no, I can't. Why are we getting storms here? Give me that. Give me 10, and that's it. Arnold? No, Matt Damon, Matt Damon. <laughs> yes, Matt Damon. Uh, Sam Jackson? Yes, but it would be a very angry voiceover <laughs> for sure. <laughs> we have uh, a Sam Jackson uh, voiceover for No Man's Sky. Oh my god, that would be that would be a little too intense, I think. Yeah, I think multiplayer is jacking stuff up. I'm, I saw something. Wow. This might be, I mean, who knows? Maybe they're fixing multiplayer and that's why it's messing up right now. <laughs> but it's just not doing well. that uh do it now <laughs> jason state them the tell the transporter any tips for newbies uh kermit with a gun enjoy it play on normal mode first because that is like it gives you a taste of what the game is really like it's not creative it's not like ultra easy but it gives you a flavor for what the game is like play on normal mode that's what most people play on as well and just enjoy it. It gives you missions. Like, it gives you a log of missions to do. Do those missions because that's like a tutorial kind of thing for No Man's Sky. There's a storyline along with it. It's very, very good. But don't don't feel rushed. Don't feel like you have to do a million different things all at once. Just take your time and enjoy the game. 
You know, so people like me, I I know what I'm, you know, I, I've done this a million times, and so I kind of skip over some stuff that I probably should be doing. But because I've played it for so long, I think I have 1,300 hours in this game on PC and another 500 on Xbox. So I have almost 2,000 hours. I just, you know, I blow through things I probably should actually be doing. Like making my uh, fuel. What was that? Why am I making a hermetic seal? Killing me. I vote for uh, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. I mean, he was in oblivion, so I got to give him credit. I will say he could do amazing work. He has done amazing work. I don't know. If, I mean, he was, he is the captain Picard. Don't get me wrong, but is he a, uh, is he really about that? I don't know. I've, I've heard that he doesn't like that being pigeonholed into that. Like he's not a big fan of being only captain Picard. Do, do, do. Jason's planet. Who named this? So oh, thank you, Eldon, for naming this Jason's planet. We're going to try to get some, uh, some stuff here. We're trying to get some uh, materials. That's why we're doing flybys. There we go. That's how you do it, you guys. Do a little... Just slowly fly by and shoot the ground. You'll pick up all that stuff that you would normally get with the, um, with a mining beam. Like platinum and stuff. Not getting as much as I would hope. Come on. Let me slow down. Let me slow down and do this. K-Bar! A member for eight months, dude. Thank you so much for being a member for eight months. That's a long time, dude. Much appreciated for the support. No Man's Sky narrated by Danny DeVito. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has to be Danny DeVito from uh, Twins, though. He has to be uh, like a scheming uh, car salesman, car thief from Twins. <laughs> he has to. That's the Danny DeVito I want. Uh, Mads Mickelson. That would be good. That would be good. I think he's locked in with Kojima, though, so he might be too expensive. He's doing all that work on de Death Stranding and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Peter Dinklage? Nice. No! No! We learned our lesson with Peter Dinklage. You can't do Peter Dinklage. They did that for uh, Bungie for uh, Destiny. And they had to... Are you attacking the Sentinels? Oh, no! They had to recut all of his stuff because they couldn't get him back again to recut more stuff. He was too expensive. So that's why you can't do that. You can't get Peter Dinklage. He costs too much. <laughs> David Jeffries, Gazoodle, member for 12 but one year. Gazoodle, much appreciated on that, man. Very much appreciated. That is awesome. All right. Oh, yeah, we need to find a uh, buried technology, guys. So let's grab these. Do we have anything closer? That one, no. That's not closer. Okay, yeah, they're all like three to four hundred feet. Gazoodle, happy one year. Exactly, happy one year. Thank you so much, David. I was just saying Peter Dinklage as my spirit. Oh, is your spirit animal. Okay, okay. You know, Beeble talks a big game about, or a small game about being short. Like all of his characters are short. Peter Tinklage is your, your uh, soul animal. I have a feeling, Beeble Bum, you're like seven feet tall. You're a big Viking looking guy. You're a massive man, probably. You're probably like way taller than everyone else. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bye, Eva. Oh, got a ghost. Thank you for hanging out, Eva. Very much appreciated for you hanging out today. And guys, if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. I appreciate all of you that have done it. 328 of you have done it right now. I appreciate all of you, but we need a little bit more. Got to get up to that 500 uh, like mark. Maybe I'll start setting goals for 500 likes. We'll do something really cool. You guys got to give me some ideas. Though. What do we? What can we do for 500 likes? What would be a, something interesting you guys would want on a stream? That we could do all the time. 
Not a special event. Not like eating terrible pizza. We're not going to do that. I will tell you that right now. No, we're not doing special nasty pizza. We're not doing that. <laughs> uh, that's what they all say. Uh, what about Heather Silvermist? She has a soothing narrator voice. I can deal with that. Yes. You know what? I take it all back. Heather or Rutger Hauer. That's the only people I will accept for a No Man's Sky voiceover work. Only people I will accept. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Heather would love to go. I, I would love to do it, but I, I don't have that voice. I don't have that narrator voice. Nothing. I mean, compared to Rutger or Sean B. Anybody. Morgan Freeman. No, I don't have. I can't compete with that. There's no way. What am I doing? Did I... I was going to go get some buried technology, and then I just stopped randomly. Okay, guys, sorry. I got distracted. We're all talking about the voiceover, you know, for the trailers for No Man's Sky. <laughs> uh, uh, Jason's Pizza making stream. No, 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 we can't do that. Wait, I, I'm okay. I'm I'm done with disgusting food that's gonna make me throw up. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I I'm not a fan of that. Uh, Elite Dangerous is fun with a joystick and gamepad, but with keyboard and mouse, it sucks. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I generally don't play with keyboard and mouse, even though I play on PC. I always play with my uh, controller. Maybe I'll do the uh, the X or the PlayStation controller tomorrow. <laughs> just to have fun with it, because I have a PlayStation 5 controller. I don't have a PlayStation 5, but I got the controller. <laughs> because I wanted one so bad. I'm like, yeah, the controller feels like it, it should be really good, right? Oh, that's why I couldn't see it. Okay. I was wondering. There we go. How much do I have? I have eight of them. I, mm, I think you need ten. So let's get one more. One more stack. We gotta get at least ten, I think. Where are you at? Where are you at? Really? I could have sworn I saw a whole bunch earlier. Now all of a sudden they're gone? What is going on with all this buried tech? There's one. You still don't have a PS5? I thought at this point anyone who was trying to get one has one. Well, that's true. At this point, now it's more of convincing my wife that it's a, a legitimate uh, investment. <laughs> Believe me, Gazoodle. I, I would have one. Except I, I bought a, uh, I bought, <laughs> I bought a Nintendo Switch, a brand new Nintendo OLED, an OLED Switch for the uh, No Man's Sky Switch version. That didn't pan out so well. And so now convincing my wife I need a PS5 and PSVR 2, that's like $1,000. She's not having it. She's like, no, no, no. You have, you have No Man's Sky on a Nintendo Switch, on an Xbox, on a PC. You're done. <laughs> I was like, okay, you know what? It's not a sound investment, probably. <laughs> but I want one. <laughs> and that, but that's not a compelling enough reason. Not yet. Uh, one day, when I'm a millionaire, when I'm PewDiePie rich, then I will have one. <laughs> by that time, it might be a PS6. <laughs> a PlayStation 6 might be out by then. Uh, let's get our, uh, our teleporter going. For me, I would pick a voiceover it would be Linda Loveless. Oh, I don't know Linda Loveless. Lovelace. A No Man's Sky on Switch is great when you're it's your only option. Yeah, 100%. It is a solid game. But if you have other options, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, it's better on other platforms. And that's that's why to me, it doesn't feel like a full price game. Like they charge you $60 for it. And it has less content than other versions of the game. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. That's where I kind of, if it was $20 or $30, if it was half price, $30, 100%, no, no problems with that. $30 game, that's an amazing $30 game. $60 game when you can buy a better version on Xbox or PlayStation, that's a hard sell for me. That's a hard sell. If he was still with us, I would say uh, Leonard Nimoy. Ooh, Leonard Nimoy. Dude, 100% Leonard Nimoy would be amazing. I would love that voiceover. We're going to need a generator. We're also going to need the wire. 
And we're going to need a uh, battery for sure. And in general, I would say solar panel, but you need to put out a, a biofuel reactor anyway. So might as well just use that. And they made biofuel reactors actually worth it. We need carbon nanotubes and pleating. I think I have both of those in my ship. So nanotubes, pleating. How much do we need? Just one of each, right? No, no, no. Two and four. Got it. Okay. Two. There we go. And pop it right there. But now it needs power, right? So we need to go to our uh, electricity. I need, a, oh, I need a metal plating for that. Let's make another metal plating. And biofuel reactor. We're going to pop that right there. And actually, we can change it to a different color. So let's change it to purple. Lilac and purple. Yes, 100%. And now we're going to pop it right there. And then we need a we need to hook it up. So boom, it's just very bare bare necessities. Oh, I have another wire. What the heck? Who put a wire here? What what's going on? And then you pop in a little bit of carbon. Look at that, 21 hours, and I only put in like what 40 carbon? That's amazing. I love that. All right, let's rename this base. Um. Let's take a another picture. We're going to do this. Right there. Hey, look this way, buddy. Come on. My character doesn't want to look at me. There we go. Boom. And we're going to call this Jason Outpost. Numero uno here we go and upload that base so now it's permanent would love to join your playthrough if you wouldn't mind checking for me oh super fly do it do it log in well you know if you want to add me network throw my name or throw my friend code on your list multiplayer is kind of finicky right now so it might work it might not work but I'm right there. Throw me in as a friend. I got it right there. Okay, yeah, 21 hours is much better than one and a half minutes. Yes, MacGyver, they they overhauled the uh, generators. It's still better to have a solar panel, but it is well worth it to have a generator now. 21 hours, and that's real lifetime, you guys. So, 20, 21 hours is not in-game, it's real life. So you see how it's counting down seconds? I can come back tomorrow well, less than 24 hours from now. So tomorrow morning, I can come back and it'll still be running. So that is awesome. I love that. Oh, let's see. Isn't this in normal? Yes, this is a normal, Tyler. This is normal playthrough. Doo -doo -doo. Now we have to go back to the space station. Get some more materials while we're here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Someone's made a, a mine. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> Someone's already making a mine here. I love it. So they have a farm. The farm of materials. Loving it. Let me load, let everything load in. This is not a good place to get a whole bunch of materials from. Oh, well, we got, we're good, we're good. Let's go to the space station. Up here. Are you gonna play Ark 2? Yes, 100%. I'm gonna play some Ark because uh, Survival Bob got me sucked into Ark. I'm gonna be definitely playing some Ark. Definitely. Uh, I see Heather Silvermist. I haven't used it yet. Oh, what's going on? Did you get your controller? Yeah. Not using it yet, though. Hi, I found your stream again. Cheesy Toast. I'm glad you found the stream. Very much appreciated for you hanging out today and hitting that like button, you guys. Hitting that like button. Uh, Jason, you're about to blow up other people. I know, K-Bar. I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, oh, God. I don't want to do that. That's too mean. I'm not going to shoot anyone else's stuff up. Ooh. 
would be kind of horrible if something bad to happen to your mind. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Would be a shame if something happened to your mind you have here. You, you know, it would be a shame if you didn't pay your, uh, your planetary rent. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've been busy with starting a Hufflepuff because you know that Slytherin is not as good. Scartech just saying. Just saying, Slytherin is not as good. I got a. Uh, do I have stuff I can sell? I think I do. Oh, yeah, I got some stuff to sell. Let's go over here. Um, and I know you're going to try to lie and say that Hufflepuff is not as good as, uh, as Slytherin, but we all know the real truth there. Scartech. We all know the real truth. You're playing as a Hufflepuff because Slytherin is terrible. Terrible. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Good. Good on all that stuff. Let's sell some stuff here. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Number one, we have to actually talk to some uh, aliens real fast. So let's do that instead. Let's talk to some aliens. We need to talk to three of them. So we got to do all three. Oh, God. oh my god, that was a terrible boost. That was terrible. Sorry, guys. That was terrible. You are wrong. No, I am right. That's how you know I'm right. I just want to do all the houses in Slytherin is supreme. No. <laughs> in your heart, you know I'm right, Scar. In your heart. Uh, incoming update, Captain Monday Baker. Yes, incoming update tomorrow. We're all assuming tomorrow there's no official release date or anything like that. We don't know what it's going to be. We just know that it has something to do with snowflakes. Whether that is literally snowflakes as in a snow overhaul or maybe... There's nobody on this freaking... What is going on? Why is there nobody on this thing? Okay. Whether that is a literal snow overhaul or maybe... Like, I'm thinking it's a customization overhaul. Because every snowflake is unique. And so... They, they're going to give us a unique, you know, overhaul. Have you watched the Harry Potter movies? I've watched the first two, Lander. I haven't watched any of the other ones yet. But I, and I hadn't watched them before the game came out. So I played Hogwarts Legacy before I watched anything or read any of the books or anything like that. So it's one of those things where I know I, I'm late to the boat. I love it. The game was amazing. And... The uh, movies are pretty dang good, I gotta say. The first two, anyway. I haven't seen them all, so I don't know. Maybe they get terrible later on. I have no idea. I've seen two of them, and I like them. Uh, what did you think about the Boss Wars Legacy? I love, dude. Hogwarts Legacy? I, I, if, I, like, I was trying to tell some of my friends, they were asking, like, is it good? Is it good? I said, look, if you take all the Harry Potter stuff off of the game, it is still a very good game. It's a good game on its own. And then you throw in the Harry Potter on top of it. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll love it. If you're not so much, there's still a good game on the on the uh, core of it that makes it amazing. So I love it. I think it's one of my top games of the year so far. Again, it's only February. So who knows if that's actually going to lead anywhere. Can I not talk to anybody here? Repeat 16. There we go. Okay. And Orange Blood, thank you for becoming a member on the channel. Much appreciated for, about that. Much appreciated about that. Of that, of that. All right, we have to go back home. Inventory upgrade. Look at that. They marked that. I don't remember that ever happening. They literally marked the upgrade terminal. I don't remember that. Let's do that, I guess. All right. Encoded message has been stored for later use. Go back to your uh, your base. There we go. We're going to just teleport back to my base. Jason outpost number one. It is a paradise planet. It should not have any sentinels. It should not. Yeah, look at that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It should not have any sentinels. It should not have any storms. What is going on here? Uh, MacGyver says, My No Man's Sky has been crashing consistently when flying into the anomaly. Anyone else? Ooh, I haven't tried that yet. I, I haven't had any issues like that. But I haven't played to the anomaly recently. So maybe we'll get a crash when we get to the anomaly. I don't know. Ooh, 
Look at this. Who's massive pet is that look at this thing are you kidding me i can't even zoom up to it oh my god look at that animal that is massive that is massive all right encoded signal received coordinates logged all right let's go i guess let's go do it Look at this thing. His head is bigger than my ship. Look at that. Good Lord. Uh, it's a dinosaur like creature. Yes, it's a diplo. Yes. It's a dino. Dino, if you want to call it that. All right. Let's go over to the coordinates received over on this planet. Hello, Jason and chat. Think engine. Hello. Thank you for hanging out so hyped for the update i am as well i can't wait i i'm going to bed early tonight maybe not as i usually can't sleep before an update but i'm gonna go to bed early supposedly so i can wake up early tomorrow because if you're in the united states the update will arrive more likely in the early hours of the day like we're talking like seven eight o'clock in the morning depending on your time zone like for me it comes out at six o'clock in the morning if you're on the west coast if you're on in california It'll be like 5 a.m. <laughs> so you got to wake up early. Uh, what are the uh, glyphs? Oh, master, I can do that when I get back there. When I get back to my planet, I will hit those glyphs for you, buddy. Because that, pla that cool planet back there, it's a pink paradise planet in my starting system, which I love. But I'll get, I'll get that back when I get there. All right. I have a feeling it's going to be over here. Oh, wait. Let's not assume. Let's go land right here. Let's see. Where is it? 400. Weather is dehydrated weather. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I just watched an NPC freighter fly into the ground. There you go. They'll do that. They'll do that every once in a while. I just watched it. Uh, Diplo's very Horizon Zero Dawnish. Yes. 100%. It's the long necks from Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh. <laughs> uh, Do, do, do. I just want to see my massive fauna walking on the planets, dude. I've seen some people like on PC specifically, you can go in and mess with the game files. I've seen people make massive animals or make themselves, their characters massive. Is it this? Wait a minute. Oh yeah. We need a hyperdrive. Duh. I thought for sure we were going to uh, Artemis's ship, but I guess not. We gotta make our hyperdrive. I should have bought some freaking. Oh man, I should have bought some uh, microprocessors while I was at the space station. Dang it! Didn't even think about it. And by the way, I'm sorry I couldn't watch your streams. I was making a VR game, so I could not watch. Oh no worries, cheesy toast. Never an expectation. I always, the way I, the my own philosophy is. I would be playing anyway, so when I when I stream, it's because I would be doing it anyway. And I might as well have fun and stream with you guys and, and hang out with you guys. So it's never an expectation for anybody to, to watch. You don't have to. And I want you guys, if you're busy, you gotta do you know real life stuff, or if you're working, do that. I always appreciate it, but it's never required. Never ever required. Wait, the heck is my ship? There it is. I just do it because I know I'm going to be playing No Man's Sky today. If I wasn't, if I was not streaming or anything like that, I'd still be playing No Man's Sky because I'd be trying to get a save going. I'd be getting footage. That way I can show what the difference is, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Or if I wasn't even a content creator, I'd be playing No Man's Sky because I'd be excited for the update tomorrow. So I want to play some No Man's Sky today. <laughs> so either way I'd be playing. Uh, why don't you try making a big pet or something yourself? I mean, I could. You need a, a save editor on PC, and so I could do that. Eh, I don't like messing with a save editor just because I don't want to lose a save. Granted, I already did. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed. 
I don't have my main save anymore. It got deleted somehow about two months ago. And I have no idea what happened. So it either something got corrupted or something happened and it was just done. So I lost that, but that's okay. I've been playing for long enough. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I, everything I have other than my living ship. The only thing I'm bothered by is I don't have my purple living ship anymore. My purple people eater is gone, but I have everything else. So I can go get my, uh, my cool fighters, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not too bothered by it. A living ship though. I don't I don't I never marked that down. I never I never recorded where I got my purple living ship from, so I have no idea where it is. <laughs> no! If you are not playing No Man's Sky in VR, you are doing something wrong. Oh dude, if I had a VR headset, I would be playing it in VR, man. Hundred percent. I want to, but again. I can't justify a thousand dollars. That's a big investment. And it, it, if it was something that I thought would be really popular on the channel, I would. But I have a feeling that it would be if the one video would be popular and then the rest of it is like eh, people people. It's a it's an awkward thing to record VR. It's very fun to play, but a lot of people don't want to watch VR because it makes people motion sick because you're moving a lot. It's a very, very, very specific thing. Diva, we have homework. Find a purple living ship for Jason Plays. Oh, Miguel, I would be able to. I, I probably, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a uh, Reddit page, a, the No Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange, the NMS Coordinates Exchange over on Reddit. That, it has a location of a ton. I just haven't done it yet because I've been busy with other games because I've been a uh, very neglectful uh, No Man's Sky player. But I probably could. If you guys, I probably will go over there and see it. But if you guys want to share some, uh, if you guys want to hit me with some screenshots of some cool purple living ships, hit me on my Twitter. Go to the Discord. You can drop them in there as well. There's a whole section just for, you know, ships or screenshots or whatever. Give me some cool screenshots of some living ships, you guys. Purple ones would be awesome. There we go. We should probably make some batteries while I'm thinking about it. Um, and I think that's about it. So we can make our thing right here. Oh yeah, we got it. We're done, done, done. We're going to need fuel though. So we need to go look for fuel. Oh, look at this needle nose. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Enormous do dopey. That is a cool looking ship. I like that needle nose and the best part for me. I love a fighter with a single engine in the back. You got to have one big engine in the back. Those are my favorites. I love that one. Wait a minute. We have a pink shuttle. I like that as well. Very cool. Meatball. I know where I can find meatball. I mean, I wish I had meatball and I had some other animals that people gave me that those are things that I'm a little upset. I lost too. I had some really cool animals, but those are kind of replaceable. I can find those, those locations. The, the, the one thing I never wrote down was my purple living ship, which was upsetting to me. Where is it at? Up oh, way over here. What in the world is it? A radioactive planet. We can get our uranium from over here. The new inventory system on controller is clunky. It is a little bit. I mean, especially when it gets pretty, when you, when you expand it out. But I like the fact that they let you minimize and expand out certain inventories. That's pretty cool. I like that. And they listen to us, obviously. Yes. And I would do the Artemis storyline first because you get all the glyphs for free. Exactly. Do the story. If you're a brand new player in No Man's Sky, I, the biggest thing I would tell you is do the storyline. Do the Awakenings missions. Do all these missions right here because they will give you a tutorial on how the game works and they also give you all these materials for free. So you get building blueprints, you get glyphs, all that kind of stuff. If you don't want to do any of that stuff, that's totally fine too. You can go buy it if you want, but it's kind of expensive and more of a pain in the butt. And you don't learn what it's for. Like they don't go over the basics of, hey, this is what you need it for. Someone's uh, marker is freaking out over there. 
Marker is freaking out. Okay, we're going this way. Maybe if they toned down the curse their magnetism, it would flow better. It could be. I mean, th that will say they did change the uh, the magnetic piece of the uh, cursor. Uh, also, as well with like shooting animals or shooting enemies, they have a, an auto targeting, an auto lock, and I hate that. I wish you could turn it off because I, I played the game for so long without it that now it feels weird when I have it on. There's no textures on that at all. Look how smooth that is. Look how smooth that is. Give me that. Uh, you need the red head strap in the quest too. Oh yeah, dude, for a VR headset. I mean, I have a beefy PC that probably could do a uh, VR. I, I I still need a headset though. That's the that's the problem. And headsets can be really expensive, depending depending on which one you get. Some of them are pretty uh, low, inexpensive. You know, like I'm, if I'm getting the Quest, what is it, the 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 Quest Pro or whatever it is, it's like a, like fifteen hundred dollars for a headset. Holy cow, that's way too expensive. I don't know about that. That's that's too much money for my blood. Fifteen hundred. I mean, we could get some nanites from this. Because we're on normal mode, why not? We're on normal. Just get it done, right? Really? Don't let me lose it. Thank you. Let's go. Ooh. Give me that, give me that. Give me that. Oh yeah, we're gonna have all the nanites we could possibly want. Yes! I mean, it'll be like a thousand nanites. I'll take that. Out of the way. I'm trying to get this. Get out of the way. Any other one over here? Nope. Oh wait, I saw one. Oh no, that's not a that's not a that's not an egg. I'm trying to trick me. Oh, I hate it when they disappear like that. It feels like a weighted, uh, wasted thing. Oh my god. That fell in the ground. Get out of my face. I'm just trying to get some of your eggs. Leave me alone. <laughs> Why are you so mad about me eating your eggs or getting your larval cores? Why? All right. I guess we got to go inside now. There we go. There we go. I got whipped in the face. So we definitely need to get some, uh, some stuff here. I need to make a metal plating. And we should be able to just pop down our... Uh, there it is. Beautiful. Boom. And get some larval cores going. NPCs with ship combat AI would be awesome. Yeah, if they improved the combat, that would be even better. I mean, they improved the... The ships, like they gave them, uh, they gave them shields and that kind of stuff, and you have a squad. But the AI itself needs to be better. I agree, hundred uh, percent. Quest three will be better for gaming and way cheaper than the Quest Pro. Oh, I hope so. The only other thing that I would have, the only other issue I have, is that you have to log in through Facebook. Anytime you have to log in to use equipment, I get a little bit bothered by that. Like. What happens if Facebook is down that day? We we had a, there was a day, it doesn't happen very often, but there was a day where uh, Facebook went down and you couldn't use your, you can't, you can't use your headset because it won't let you log in. That to me is like, no, they need something around that. They need to, to have it to where, yeah, you can log in and you can do stuff, but you, it's not a requirement. Because if, you know, if I don't have an internet connection, I can't play a game now, come on. I have to have an internet connection to play an offline game. That's upsetting. What if you don't have that? The other thing is, yeah. What if you don't have a Facebook? Then it's like if you don't have a Facebook uh, page or whatever. Then it's like, well, sorry, you're out of luck. Or you know, if your power went out, you don't have any internet access. 
Not that she would be using power, you know, to, to power the headset, but you know what I mean. Internet goes down in my uh, neck of the woods a lot. Like, for no reason at all, my internet provider, uh, my internet will just drop out. Not yet. <laughs> and so it's just like, well, I don't have internet for an hour. What am I going to do? Uh, I would play a game, except for I can't because I need a quest. I need my logins for that. <laughs> Man, there is no textures on any of this stuff. Wow. Yeah, multiplayer. It's upsetting that multiplayer does that. Like, you don't run into these issues normally. It, it'll happen. It will happen. But it's a, it's not as normal as if you have a, a multiplayer turned on. Multiplayer is turned on. You know what's going to happen. All right. Oh, I could have made one anyway. Dang it. Here we go. Do I have? I have metal plating. I have metal plating on. Oh, wait a minute. I used it already. Dang it. I don't mind logging in either, but it makes a local account or allows me to cash the credit. Yeah, exactly. Something, you know, that you don't have to worry about logging in with internet access. Because if you don't have it, then you're screwed or whatever. I made a cobalt mine near your base. Feel free to take some. Oh, I will. I will. I, oh, yeah. Speaking of that, I didn't make any of my batteries like I was planning on. We need to make some batteries, you guys. Three, four, five. We need to make a uh, antimatter housing. Three. Dang it. I need more oxygen. But we also need to make some batteries. Oh, look at all the oxygen right here. I love it. Let me do this real quick. Let me get the oxygen. All the red stuff. Nope, I think that's it. Oh, nope, one more up here. Thank you. Terrible, terrible thing. I never had to uh, log into Facebook in order to uh, play. Oh, really, Chimpy? I, I've heard, I, I mean, I don't have one, so I don't know. But that's that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Is that you need to log in. You need to log into your Facebook account to use your headset. But, again, I've never used this, so I don't know. Uh, what's the expected date for the update? Uh, Zonky, tomorrow is the expected date. We don't know for sure, but we're all believing it's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the date, as far as we know. Unless it's not. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me pop that in there. Need to make some batteries. Fifty-four batteries should be good enough. All right, so now we can go to another system. I don't know how we could beat this system. We have a, a pink uh, paradise planet, a PPP. <laughs> I don't know how you can get better than that. Imagine if the update is next Wednesday. Oh no, no, it's next Wednesday, not tomorrow. Oh, I'd be upset. I would be upset if I no. I mean, it would be nice because then I could play some more Atomic Heart because I have I. I have it. I just haven't, I haven't played it at all. So I have no idea. I've heard that it's okay. Are you kidding me? We have another paradise planet right here. We have literally another paradise planet right here, you guys. Um, one word. Multi-swords. Oh. Uh, what was it called in uh, Mass Effect? It was the uh, what was the orange uh, tool that they had in Mass Effect? We'll get we'll get some of those. Look at this! Literally another Paradise Planet, you guys, right here. So I will give you the coordinates for this one before we leave. That way, you guys can come here if you want to. Look at this. Oh, it's a mushroom one. Look at this. So freaking cool. 
All right, let's see. I bet you the gl the grass glows in the dark. Yes, look at that. Orange grass everywhere. All right, so there are the... There it is right there, boom. Bottom left-hand side of the screen, those are the glyphs for this planet. So if you want to come here, heck yeah. It will be an Elsa update. Yes. <laughs> oh, the only problem is I wear glasses. Yeah, that would be an issue. That's another thing I'm thinking about with the VR headset. I wear glasses as well. Jason loves mushrooms, especially the magic kind. I, all, I will never turn down a magic or mushroom. Never. Uh, there is an oxygen hotspot next to your base if you want to come take it over. Nice. Heck yeah. Uh, yes, of course. A Bowser Pob. <laughs> Bowser Pob. I'll take that. Uh, a glasses squad. I took a screenshot. I wasn't trying to take a screenshot. What are you doing to me, game? All right. Let's get in here. Let's grab some materials while we're here, you guys. Let's go the first person. Now I can kind of see when I'm hitting. There we go. Gotta get all my basic, my uh, building blocks. Wait, wait. Look at that. We have a patch of oxygen right here as well. Look at that. Big old patch of oxygen right here. Beautiful. Not a very purple, uh, black on white skin. Living ship. Oh, left it in my discord. Thank you. Heck yes, dude. Yeah. And everyone hit me, uh, tag me in it. That way I can see it. Because I will go through it, I'll scroll through, but it's easier for me to find it if you guys tag me in it. So, whether that's on Twitter or on the Discord, put tag me in it, that way I can see it. Oh yeah, look at all this oxygen. Look at this! Oxygen for days! Oh, look at this! Look at that! That is a really cool looking living ship, man. Who is this? Let me see. Poser, Bob, Pob, Poser. This is a cool living ship. Look at that. I, the only thing I wish, I wish it was black, but it was red or it was purple instead of red. I would love that be purple. That would be amazing. Like all purple glowing. If there is a little bit of purple on there. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. That is pretty epic. Gotta say, pretty epic. Uh, don't forget to check the chest for some base decor. Oh, that's true. That is true as well. And a yellow or an orange uh, squid. Very cool. All right. We got to go to our uh, mission. I need to make one of those uh, flying saucers my pet. So we need to get to our uh, a certain... I think it's when you start making your base. You get... Um, what's it called? You get pellets? No, no, no. When you get to the space anomaly, I think. I haven't seen such an oxygen like uh, an oxygen patch like that in a while. Nice, very nice. I know, Wolf. I love it when you run into something like that. You're like, yeah. There we go. There we go. We need to make some more launch thruster stuff. Technology recharge. All right. Let's land over here. I love this game, man. Dude, GLG, I love it as well. It's top 10, maybe even top five of all time for me. I love No Man's Sky. I mean, I've been playing it for <laughs> for five years now, I think. Uh, 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's like four and a half, almost five years straight. Like just constantly playing. Now, there are days where I don't play it as much. You know, there's weeks where I haven't played it as much as I normally would. Like when, uh, you know, Hogwarts came out, when Atomic Heart, it came out this week. But the only thing that's going to stop me from Atomic Heart is the update tomorrow. 
So if there's no update tomorrow, I'm okay with it because I can place them on Atomic Heart right before the update comes out next week, if that's the case. But I have a feeling, strong suspicion, it will be tomorrow. But Fortnite is better? No! I mean, it's not my kind of game. But hey, if you love it, play it. If you love that game, play Fortnite. Play whatever game makes you happy. So I will not bash on it. Every game has good qualities on it. It's just not my kind of game. It's not my type. You know, just like everyone has a preference for food. Some people like pineapples on their, on their pizza and they are disgusting, but they're allowed to eat it. <laughs> it's not against the law. Not yet. If I ever become, you know, uh, President Jason, I might make that against the law. No pineapple on pizza ever against the law. <laughs> Uh, crazy place as he got to bounce, but hey, thank you for hanging out, man. Much appreciated for you hanging out and hitting that like button. Seriously, hit that like button. So I had to log off. Did you give up on your uh, pretty pink planet? Planet? No, Cole. We're just doing the story. I'm going to head back to it. Don't you worry. I'm trying to get my, uh, my uh, creature pellets. So I'm trying to progress the story enough to where I get my creature pellets so I can make uh, some of those flying saucers my pet. Uh, MacGyver says, damn right, I'd vote for you. <laughs> you, do, you would not vote for me, Heather. I mean, I, I wouldn't want it. It seems like a lot of stress. <laughs> we don't have a president in Canada, so my pineapple pizza is safe. <laughs> I would I would talk to Justin Trudeau. We would have a uh, we would have a law for North America. So that includes Canada and Mexico. Nobody can have pineapple pizza. It will be an agreement between all the countries. <laughs> pineapple pizza. We can all agree pineapple pizza is terrible. Uh. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. There are companies that uh, make prescription lenses that attach to the Quest. Oh, really? I did not know that. That might be something I would look into. Um, let's see. We might get some, uh, some space, uh, some launch fuel out of here. Oh yeah. What planet are we on? We are on a, um, mold. Okay. So this is a toxic. I need uranium. I need uranium. Uranium is a good launch fuel. You guys. MC equals Minecraft. Yes. Ah, Minecraft. Uh, da -da -da. hello, Miss Heather Silver, Miss. Oh, I got some freaking nanites out of there. Man, I don't need nanites. And, okay, we'll make a couple of these because I keep running out. All right. We need to get some freaking uranium, though. That's what we need. Uranium. What do you think the update will be? Joe Moore... I personally think it's going to be a customization update. I have no idea if that's true or not, so don't 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 think that I know anything that you don't know. I'm just guessing. My speculation is that a snowflake means uniqueness, like you're unique like a snowflake, like personalization. Like you're going to be able to customize your character more. There's going to be more armor, more gloves, more boots, more helmets, more more capes, more backpacks. It'll be all that kind of stuff and more multi-tool customization. You know, we'll be able to change the colors on our multi-tool. Maybe even ship customization. <laughs> so, it could be any of those. That'd be amazing. Boop, boop, boop. Nope, not that one. That's the one. Let's call it what it is. A snow overhaul. <laughs> yes! It is a snow overhaul. Yes, 100%. Uh, Mark says, uh, when I become king of the, uh, world, I would make it mandatory that everyone would need to eat pineapple pizza at least one time a month. What the? A month? No, 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 no. Uh, you can never be king, Mark. I can't, I can't, I can't support that. No. Pineapple pizza once a month? Oh, <laughs> I might die. I might die. Just, just, oh, that's too much. That's too much. Oh, wait. Get this one. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, one time of life. Yeah, there you go. I'll do it one time of life. I've already done mine. I've already done mine. You guys saw it. I have video evidence. 
of me doing mine. So it's once a lifetime, I can deal with that because I've already done mine. <laughs> I've done my time. <laughs> I've paid my price. I'm good. Don't need it anymore. Where is it at? I actually think it will be a uh, <laughs> snowflake update. It might be. It might be, GLG. <laughs> Uh, Ceres says, okay, I'm very late. What in the snowflake update? Uh, yeah, we don't know. We're all guessing. Like, um, uh, so I think Steve, he had a fractal uh, theory that it's going to, they're going to update the engine to be fractals. So it'll actually, re you know, overhaul the look and the feel of the game. Uh, Beeble Bum has a theory that it might be a game engine. They might use a snowdrop engine. I, you know, there's a ton of people saying that it's just a uh, biome update. Like, they're going to change the weather patterns. That's why Snowflake. Uh, they might just change the uh, actual snow itself. Like, all these snowy planets will look different. So, nobody knows for sure. Oh, look at this. We have a couple of them, huh? All I know is I want it. Look at this. I want it to be something really, really good. You know, maybe it's a bug. Like a bug uh, fix? I don't know. Uh, if that was the case, he might he might just text an emoji of a uh, or tweet out an emoji for a bug. <laughs> it's, like, it's a bug fix. <laughs> Signal boost. We need to chromatic metal and sodium. Got it. So a yeah, snow overhaul sounds so much better. A snow overhaul that would be pretty good. I hope. If they do something like that, I hope that's in the patch notes. It is the Snover Hall update. <laughs> oh, that would be so good. Okay, so we are on the radiation planet. So we have a sodium. Oh, uranium right here. Oh, man. It's like they knew I was asking for it. Well, let's get some uranium out of here. We can use this as launch fuel. That's why I love uranium. It's really good. It's worth it. Just have a stack of uranium in your ship and just use that for launch fuel instead of your launch, uh, all your tr traditional launch uh, refuel stuff. Boom, boom, boom. And how much do we get out of there? We got 75. That's a decent amount. Speaking of that. We need to get in here, switch it out. That way I can move some stuff out of my inventory into that. So starship, starship. I think that's enough. We need to make a metal plating. Hermetic seal. A hydrogen jelly. Oh, yeah, we're going to need that pure ferrite that I moved. Dang it. There we go. Before we do anything, though, let's check on this stuff. Um, I didn't see you, but you're right. Oh, what's going on, Joker? I said that earlier as well, an exo snowmobile, that would be cool. Maybe, oh, if it was just a snowmobile exo craft, that I can, oh, I can, I can get behind that. That would be really cool. Exo snowmobile. Now it would be kind of limited for sure, but it would be fun. It would be cool. It would be cool to just see that. Here we go, and there we go. Let's go to the space station. I, over here. Oh, wait, let's talk to Artemis. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, every time I always forget this is the space anomaly. I can't sell it, so this will, oh yeah, we have to, we have to land over here. Okay, let's land on the space anomaly, and maybe we'll be able to teleport to the. Yeah, we can teleport. Okay, we can teleport. 
to the space station. Golden Gek says hi. Oh! Golden Gek, is he streaming? Is he streaming? He might be streaming. I know a lot of us are streaming today. Some of us, are, uh, most of us, probably everyone's going to be streaming tomorrow when the update comes out. So yeah, it's going to be a busy week for No Man's Sky. So I hope you guys are all ready for it. You guys are going to get tired of hearing notifications from me. I'll tell you that. But he's streaming constantly, all the time. Tip videos, all the time. Hey, here's your news, all the time. <laughs> this is what's new, all the time. Bowie is on after 15. Oh, at 15 after, nice. Let's get over here. Let's talk to Artemis. No, 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 it's not Artemis. Nada. Good Lord, I am burned out. I'm tired. I'm, I'm missing everyone's name. There's a whole lot of uh, fixes, updates they could make to the Exos before they made a biome specific Exo. Yeah, the snowmobile. That's true. That is true. I mean, there's a lot they need to overhaul, so... It's one of those deals where, I mean, if they add a snowmobile and there's a whole bunch of fixes, or maybe they overhaul all of the Exocraft. Like, maybe they just say, look, we're going to overhaul all of them, and we're adding, oh, uh, you know, they have a water one for, you know, they have a submarine. They have the, you know, the, the ground ones. Maybe they have more traditional, like, it's not a full-on ship, but it is a floating one, and they have a snowmobile one. And they also have like a, uh, a high temperature one. Maybe they overhaul all of it and th that's what they do. They change it up. They could go a million different directions. That's why that's the best thing about it though, is that there's so much they can do that it's hard to nail down what they will do. Let's talk to these guys over here. Helios, he's my guy. I love Helios. Hello, Helios. I tweeted you a clip of you, uh, you deleting your OG save. Did you really? Lushable Echo. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Because I was in my brain. I was like, did I delete that or did it delete somehow? If I deleted it. Oh, my God. I deleted it on stream. Let's see. That's double bad. But number one, thank you, Lush. Thank you so much for the super chat. Number two. I will have to make that into a clip. That way I can shame myself. Deleting my save. Oh my God. I can't believe I did. I mean, I can't believe that technically. I can't. If I was tired, not paying attention. Like if I was, uh, I, if I had to guess, it was probably with an expedition. I was deleting saves and I deleted my expedition save. And I also deleted my main save probably. Let's go to sell. I don't have anything to sell. Let's go to buy. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have anything good. We're good. Uh, visit a technology researcher such as Celine. Let's go back here. Let's see what upgrades we can get for our suit. Let's get our backpack refiner. Oh, maybe you were getting uh, better water. It could be, Cole. It could be. Maybe they're giving us a water update. That could very well be. That would be... A lot of people have been uh, asking for a water update for a long time now. So not as long as the ship uh, ship customization, but it's up there. It's up there. It's one of the top ones that is most requested, at least that I've seen. A lot of people want water overhaul. Even though in uh, 2018, they did do a water overhaul. It, it was called the Abyss update. <laughs> but, but they need another one because they added more to it, but they didn't really fix the water. They just added more content to the water, which is very different. Uh, da -da. Update would include station override for uh, freighter class upgrades and ship customization. There you go. There you go. I would like that. I could get behind that. Talk to Nada about Artemis. There we go. Oh, thank you for the the uh, uranium roadkill. Very much appreciated. I like it. I was going to go get some more, but you gave me some. So I'll take it. I'll take that. It also would be nice if you can invite your friends to build a base also. Like uh, they are the owner and friends are managers or something like that. That would be really cool as well. Or uh, change up the, uh, the, the permissions. Like right now, what we have is... If you go into your network settings, 
you can change your multiplayer settings. You have all these cool settings, even though multiplayer is kind of rocky, but you can change it to where anybody can add a base part. Nobody can. Friends only. Or group and friends. So anybody in your group and you're on your friends list can do it. Or anyone else. So you, you do have some options like that. But the problem is I can, under, I can see to where, you know, I log in and I was working on Bob's base and, you know, for whatever reason, Bob's base is not showing up. So again, I think that falls more under, they need to fix the, um, they need to fix the multiplayer in general. Like there's a lot of bugs in multiplayer. So there's sometimes where it should work, you know, but sometimes it doesn't just because, you know because they don't want it to. And it's like, oh, come on. Really? You don't, you don't want to work right now? Come on. Did I get a whole bunch of... Oh, wait a minute. We're going to move that down here. I should have enough room. So I'm going to scrap that uh, hauler that I just got. Space stations. There we go. And for the love of everything holy, please fix the multi... 100% spawns. 100%. I, and I mean, at this point, if they said, look... You can get 32 people in one instance. 32 people can be on screen at a time, but that is too much for multiplayer. So we're going to knock it down to 16. We're going to say you can only have 16 people in multiplayer. Think about that for a second. 16 people in multiplayer, but it runs better. It runs smoother. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a limitation because there's so much to do with numbers, or maybe they have to, um, change the protocol for multiplayer i don't know what they have to do because i'm not a, a developer but i hope that they would hone in and focus on multiplayer and really polish it and fix it <laughs> 16 i get you <laughs> yep <laughs> anybody who plays no man's sky should hopefully any veterans who, you know, no man's sky players should know that all right so we got a whole bunch of stuff uh, we got c upgrades i don't need that let's sell this thing Let's see what other upgrades we have here. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. We have a shield module here. I'll take that. And we have a thermal module. That's not as good as I was hoping, but hey, a shield I'll take. I will take the shield. Oh, my. <laughs> my life support's broken. I might need to fix that. There we go. Now I feel a little bit better. Oof. Let's get a... Is that a good multi-tool? Let's check. Is it a good one? It is not a good one. So not worried about that. Let's sell some stuff. Dun dun dun. We're gonna sell the salvage data, yes. Platinum, yes. Starship launch fuel, yes. That one, yes. Hermetic seal, yes. And I think that's it. Okay, so now we need to fly out into space. Um, we've gone to the... Do I have my pellets? Please tell me I have... Yes, I have our creature pellets. Perfect. Now we can go back to our base. Let's do it. We're going to get those flying saucers as a, uh, as a cool animal. That's what we're going to do. Let's go back to our base. Our pink planet base. Uh, Jason Outpost numero uno. If we do get ship customization, I want a, uh, corset ship. Because the standard ship is so boring. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they do it. Maybe when they do, they let us do ship customization. They overhaul all the ships. And they say, look, you can make whatever you want. And there are a ton of new pieces you can use. Yes. Look at all this. And again, I know someone earlier wanted the, the uh, glyphs for this. So if you want the glyphs. They are right there. So if you want to come to this planet, let me get a dark spot here. I guess that's about, that's as good as it's going to get. If you want to come to this planet, glyphs bottom left-hand side of the screen right there. Corvette class ships, Jason. Typo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said corset. I was like, if you want a corset ship, I'm not going to judge you. I mean, it's not my preferred ship, but if you want to be inside of a corset... <laughs> Oh, uh, if they do add snowmobile, they better have a jet ski. That would be awesome. <laughs> I would take that. A jet ski. Did it go away? Come on. Investor. There we go. 
posted a clip to my Discord. Thank you, Lush. Very much appreciated, man. What is going on here? What is happening here? Oh, no. What is... I can't move. What the heck? Oh, it wants me to do keyboard and mouse now. Are you joking? If I tr Look at this. This is what's happening here. Guys. This is my control stick. What is going on here? That's all I'm touching. That's all I'm touching. What is happening? No Man's Sky, you are crazy. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to mode select. I'm going to I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm going to quit the desktop all the way. I'm going to quit all the way out and then reload the game again. Maybe it's just freaking out. I don't know what is happening here. I don't know what is happening. Come on. Let me load in. There we are. Jack is doing it. All right. All right. Controller's working again. Weird, weird freak out. I don't know what the heck that was about. Well, let's go back in. Come on. Come on. There it is. Do, do, do. Yeah, there's some sort of instancy when it comes to uh, planetary weather. Yeah, it is. That's why the, the multiplayer is just. I love that it's there. But the fact that it's half broken most of the time, it's like, oh, come on. <laughs> At this, and I can understand when it first came out. It's like, look, it's brand new. Of course it's going to be half done or whatever. You know, they need to work on it. It's had multi, we've had multiplayer in No Man's Sky for like four years now. <laughs> four years. So, uh, come on now. All right. Everything's feeling good, looking good. All right. We need to get our, uh, our awesome animals are flying saucers guys that's what we're looking for flying saucers where are they flying saucers where are you oh that's multiplayer getting uh, connected right there you saw that all right come on oh, something over here My friend works at Hello Games. Oh, alt action gaming. I'm jealous. I wish I had somebody who worked at Hello Games that I knew. I mean, I know Sean Murray, but not personally. <laughs> Gently milk. New item recorded. Craw milk. There you go. Foot pedo. A foot pedo. We're going to ignore that. Ignore that, everybody. I know you're in chat. You want to ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> We're renaming this dang thing already. <laughs> Why would that be part of it? Literally. <laughs> We're gonna... uh... He's going to be a Hoovercraft. <laughs> Very awkward name. I know. That's why we're renaming it right now. All right. Here we go. We're going to pat you, buddy. You're good. You're a good little uh, flying saucer. And now we're going to ride you. Are you kidding? Look at this. We're going to... Can you go up? Can you go up, buddy? Come on. Off the ground. Am I too heavy? Is this animal telling me I'm too fat? Come on. Come on. Get off the ground. <laughs> I feel bad now. He can't go off the ground. Are you serious? Come on. He's like literally on the ground. Like, I can't fly with you on me. Come on, buddy. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Did he get off the ground? All right, fine. You know what? You won't make me feel bad. The uh, butterflies, the dragonflies over here won't make me feel bad. You got to get them when they're on the ground, though. I wish they were purple. 
Get some milk from you, and I'm going to adopt you as well. Oh, God. Chilly pad, chilly pad. Creature pallet. And we're going to ride on him. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. He's like a dragon. I love that. With the weird wings on his head. Uh, what has got to happen sometimes? <laughs> Too fat. I know! SMO! I'm obviously... I'm like, oh, the other guy, you just couldn't handle it. This one, though, he has wings, so he could fly around with me. Yeah, I see how unbelievable it sounds. <laughs> it's gonna happen at some point. Please give us a new uh, freighter types as a snow overhaul, a snow overhaul update. Dude, freighter types would be awesome. I just realized, looking through the bubbles, it literally bends the light around whatever you're looking at. Are you kidding me? Whoa! That's cool. Look at this! Look at that! We are flying together. I love it. No! Yeah, let's do let's do some blue angel stuff. <laughs> Doing some some air coordination. It's butter snake. I have the exact one. Yes, it's cool. Look at this thing though. It's really cool. Just flying around. Flying real quick, really fast. Holy cow. Look at that. Go, go, go. Boom. Boom. Soaring through the air. Have some new capital freighters. Would also be fun. Planet address. Oh, James, I got you, buddy. If you want to plan an address, I got you. Right there. Boom. It's in Euclid. And the glyphs are at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. In Euclid. The starting galaxy. The beginning galaxy. I have it in light blue. I had a uh, purple one. Some new capital uh, fighters would also be fun. Yep, yep, yep. Um, It's going to happen at some point. Yep. Uh, long and thin. Just how you like them, huh? 100%. 100% Scar. <laughs> Long and thin. <laughs> Long and thin. Good lord. Good lord. So, yeah. So, yeah. We did it. We got that. I mean, I'm a little upset that our flying saucer doesn't uh, actually fly when we're riding him. That's upsetting. But, hey. You know what? Actually, you know what? Let's try it again. Let's try him again. Gonna gently pat you. Off the ground, buddy. Off the ground, right? Oh my god, he's like on literally on the ground. I can't get him off the ground at all. Like I'm trying to like do anything. He can't. Like he's literally just hoovering the ground. Like literally he's a uh he's a robo vacuum. <laughs> I mean, look at this does not want to fly. If I get off of him, will you fly up? Maybe I bought the... May, not I didn't buy it. Maybe I tamed the one that just couldn't fly up in the air. Look at this. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, it just instantly goes down. Come on! Come on, Hoover. Come on. Oh, he's up in the air. Nope, he's just up in the air for a little bit. No! It was a hovercraft. It is. It's basically a hovercraft at this point. Yeah. Except for if he runs into any rocks, he will stop. <laughs> Unlike a hovercraft. Floating whoopee cushions. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Guys, I am so excited. I'm so excited for the update. So what we're going to do now is we are actually going to go raid... We're going to raid Golden Gek, you guys. So go over there. Tell him what you think the uh, the update is going to be. All right, you guys? So it's a little bit shorter of a stream today. I'm going to bed early so I can wake up early tomorrow. We will be streaming tomorrow. I will have videos tomorrow for the update. So update tomorrow. Go over there. We're going to Golden Gek's channel. Go tell him what you think the update is going to be. I think it's a customization. What do you guys think? And I will see you guys over at Golden Gek's channel.